Okay, welcome back. Uh, welcome to the roads videos. Uh, this is going to be, I'm going to do this in four parts because there's just a lot of stuff to go over. So the first video I'm going to show you uh, just how to work with splines, how to create splines, um, how I recommend you go about laying out your splines, and then how to use the CSV creator panel uh, that Wrinkly's rule made, and I'll show you where that is in a second. Uh, the second video is going to be uh, the first Blender video, so that's going to be how to kind of make your road templates, uh, the basics of using the array and curve modifiers to actually like create your road shape, and then the third video is going to be how to make your intersections nice and smooth, and how to get your road lines the curves nice and smooth so your intersections look really clean. And then the fourth video is going to be um, bringing everything back into Giants Editor and then I'll probably also touch really quick on how you can do uh, like some road decals, kind of like your little like stop lines that you'd see at a stop sign. Um, there's like there's a few textures that Giants gave us with the base game where you can make like manhole covers or you can have like asphalt cracks all over the place. Some stuff like that. So I'll do like a basic video on that. That part's real easy. Um, I'm also going to show you in these videos how to set up your roads to have the snow meshes on them. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So... I don't know why this render is so weird, but uh, this is an actual like physical snow. This is just like kind of an icy snow mesh that you'll put on your road using the vertex paint shader. Uh, so I'll walk you through how to do that in the second video. But as far as uh, this video is concerned, uh, really all I want to do is why won't this go away? There we go. Sorry. Uh, all I want to do in this video is just kind of do a quick intro on how you can make your splines, how to use the CSV creator panel, uh, what the CSV creator panel does, um, and then a couple other spline tools that Wrinkly's released that would let you alter your terrain or paint along your terrain if you wanted to. So I'll get right into it. Uh, these scripts are on Farmer Boy's modding, so you will need to make an account. Um, they're not like gonna spam you with emails or anything, don't worry. It's perfectly safe. Uh, this website's been around for a long time. Uh, I'm gonna link this. So it's just his FS25 updated scripts. Uh, you'll come down here and download the zip, and then in your downloads folder, you'll just open this up. And then we'll copy all these scripts into our scripts folder. So that's in your user folder. So you'll go to users, uh, yours, and then the app data, which is hidden. So again, if you can't see hidden folders, go to uh, view and then show and then hidden items. Click on your app data, go to local, then your Giants Editor 10.0.4, because that's the one we're using. Then there's a scripts folder and you'll just copy and paste those scripts into here. Uh, that's the easy way. The other way you could do that is you come up here to scripts, uh, do create new script, name it, uh, and then you could open each script individually in a text editor and then copy it into here and save it. I'm not going to do that because that takes way longer. So I'd recommend you just copy and paste them. So now I want to get into how to make a spline really quick. Um, some easy ways to work with splines. So I'm going to come up here to create and go spline. Now we have this spline, but it's all the way over there. I don't want it over there. I want it over here. So I'll hit control B and then just left click wherever you want your spline to go. And now you have a spline with three points. You have a start and end point and then a middle point. So you can use your left and right keys on your keyboard to cycle through these. Super helpful. Uh, the way you'll make points here is it's don't don't do this like dragging them around. Just hit Control B, 
and then hold left click to drag it around and then wherever you want to insert points just hit the insert key on your keyboard so now we can make nice smooth curves real easily just by dragging it around hitting insert um, then if you let's say you make your spine and some of your points are a little bit off you can just come through here using your left and right key uh, and you can adjust your points super easily by either moving them you can move them up or down side to side however you want to do it um, I'm just going to delete this real quick I'll show you how I did all of my splines so what I did is I just moved my PDA image up so I just have my PDA image up here like so and then um, I don't know why Giants Editor does this but every time I open my map it looks all blurry like this if yours goes from looking really nice to looking real blurry just remove it and then reapply the texture I don't know why it does that but for some reason it does so now that looks nice and clean again basically all I did is uh, you can see where I oh whoops uh, I moved my PDA image up kind of like so just so that I could have all my spines be at the same height and then I just made splines along all my roads uh, I left out some of them because I just wanted to get the main roads done for now um, but uh, when you're doing your intersections give yourself a little bit of extra room so just kind of drag your spline like through the intersection don't like don't just stop right at it you'll want to go a little bit further uh, we'll clean that up in blender and I'll show you that in the third video but as for right now just go ahead make all your splines and then I'll show you uh, how to do the CSV creator panel here really fast so let's say I have a spline so I'll just make a spline real quick I'll just put it right there and then just kind of drag this around and it's kind of lined up to my terrain but not perfectly so as you can see all these splines are up here kind of just floating in space so what I want to do uh, let's say I have this up here let's come up here to user scripts spline CSV creator panel uh, this distance right here this will be how far each individual point is spaced out so I'll do I'll show you this kind of two ways I'll do 15 for the first one and then you just highlight your spline hit create CSV it'll give you a message down here saying that created a CSV now what we can do is in our map folder uh, next to where your i3d file is it's going to create the CSV data folder and then it's going to give us three things so it made a i3d file which is the actual spline that it made an obj file which is what we'll open in blender to use these curves in blender and then it gives you a text document so this is the actual spline so we need to import that so we'll come up here to file and go import find that folder CSV data and then just click on it and hit open you could also click and drag this into the scene graph if you wanted but I'm just gonna open it like so now we have this spline on our map looks nice uh, let's say we wanted our points to be closer I would just change this number to like 5 and then highlight the spline again hit create now we have a new one we'll go back to import and we'll import it again notice how it didn't like make sure you rename these 
uh, when you do this. I didn't. That was not a great example. But when you do all your splines, make sure you name the ball individually or when you run the spline or run the script over and over again, it's just going to be constantly overriding it. So now we can see we have a CSV. These are 15 meters apart. This one's five. I like to do five because it gives you a nice smooth curve and blender. Just seems to work a lot better in my opinion. Um, so that is how you would create all your curves and you can see I've done that all around my map. I just have the CSVs hidden because they're kind of annoying to look at but just go around your whole map and then make all your splines. Uh, one thing I will tell you is your PDA image and the DEM may be off by a little bit it's usually off by like one to like maybe half a meter. So what I will recommend you do is be very careful when you run your CSVs. As you can see, like this one's kind of just offset by a little tiny bit, but you do want to get like very precise with these so that when you create your roads and bring them back in and we terrain decal them down, they're like exactly where you'd want them to be. I haven't actually altered my terrain yet, but because I was super careful with where my splines actually went, uh, I'm not really gonna have to do much work on the terrain to get the roads to be nice and flat. Um, as far as painting where your roads will go and how the roads will behave. I'm going to cover that more in the fourth video. Um, I used procedural placement to paint along my roads because it's just a lot faster. Um, but he does have the spline paint panel and the spline height panel, which are just alterations of the base game scripts because the base game scripts kind of suck. But you could do that if you want to. Um, they're super easy to use. I'll just show you really fast. Uh, the spline paint panel just gives you some options. So you have like your center width, your edge width, the textures. Uh, you can do a random paint option. I'm not going to go fully into detail on these, but uh, the article is super straightforward. There's several videos on YouTube of how to use these uh, just for sake of this video being kind of short, uh, I just wanted to walk you through how to get your splines down, uh, how to kind of get your splines set up. Uh, just remember when you do your intersections, uh, go ahead and just drag your splines kind of past where they intersect. Um, I know that's kind of counterintuitive, but uh, it'll make it'll make a lot more sense when we get into Blender and actually do it. So that's going to conclude part one of the roads video. Um, if you have any questions, again, please leave a comment or join the Discord and ask there. Um, there's only like four people in it so far, but uh, that's going to wrap this one up. Uh, thank you for watching. I should have the next few videos out in the next few days. Uh, next one's going to be taking all our OBJ or taking our spline OBJ files into Blender and actually making our road. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.